Lots of superfood goodness is going into you. Hi guys, it's Amanda with Eat Break Crunch and Bill and I are going to be making some baby food this weekend. So this is basically the standard of what we do for just about every kind of vegetable, but tonight we're going to do it with sweet potatoes. So um, I just get these organic sweet potatoes at Costco. They have them there now and then. I was really excited that they were actually there last time because they don't always have them. So we just got a big batch of them and we're going to uh, make a big old batch of baby food and freeze it. So the way we make baby food is not just the standard. We do um, puree it, but then we add a few things to it to give it some boosted nutrition. We follow loosely a Weston A. Price kind of diet, and so they have a number of suggestions for ways to add healthy fats and iron and various things like that to baby's diet um, to add some really important nutrition for their growing brains and little bodies. So. Um, I will talk about that as we go. So first of all, Bill here is rinsing off the sweet potatoes and scrubbing them a little bit. And we are actually keeping the peels on because um, sweet potatoes, just like regular potatoes, um, and carrots too actually, um, when you peel them, you get rid of a lot of the nutrition. A lot of the nutrients and vitamins live in the peel. So we are going to leave the peel on and um, when we cook it down, it'll actually blend pretty well. And we're just chopping these guys into big hunks just so they'll fit into the pot well. And we're using our pressure cooker, which just helps it cook like twice as fast. Um, for the sake of speed, we're doing it that way. But you can also just do it the standard way and steam them um, in a normal pot with a steamer. So you can do it either way. It just takes a, a little bit longer doing it the regular way. All right, so we've got the little steamer in the bottom and some water, and we're putting on the lid. Put the little weight on the top, and then are you turning it on high? Yeah, we can turn it down once the once it boils. So it is up to pressure, and the little thing is hissing. And um, our little pressure cooking guide says the sweet potatoes. We let it go for five minutes, and it'll be done. So you put it in the sink and run cold water over it to help get the pressure back down. All right they are all ready to put in the food processor now. So we use a food processor. You can use a blender if you don't mind the consistency being a little thinner, but we like having a thick consistency in our purees. And so a food processor handles the thickness a little bit better, whereas with a blender you'd need to add more water or whatever liquid to make it thin enough to blend. But food processor can handle just about any thickness it up in batches here. So one of the things that we add to most of our baby food is coconut oil. We're just going to put a couple big old blobs of it in there. We don't do it exact measurements, maybe like three tablespoons, something like that for a batch like this. The coconut oil is for healthy fat because babies need healthy fats for the development of their brains because the brain is actually um, mostly fat and so it's really important for their brain development. So there's a reason that people traditionally add fats to their vegetables and that is because when you add a fat to the vegetable it helps the fat soluble vitamins in the vegetable to be more absorbable by the body. Specifically those vitamins are vitamin D, A, D, E, and K with the kinds of foods that we traditionally eat in the American standard diet, um, we're all vitamin D deficient. So this is one way to help absorb our vitamin D from our vegetables some more. So the next superfood that we are adding is a little bit of organic blackstrap molasses. And that might seem kind of strange to you, but the reason we're adding it is because it is an excellent source of iron. And if you don't know what molasses is, when they process sugar cane, um, they 
turn it into two parts. There is the uh, refined white sugar that you get which is the part that is not so good for you and they separate out all of the really highly nutritious stuff which is the blackstrap molasses. That's what's left over after they uh, refine sugar and they take all the good stuff out. So we put just a tiny little bit of blackstrap molasses in there because it's so rich in iron and minerals. The other thing we put in is just a pinch of natural sea salt or pink salt. Um, we particularly like the pink salt, so we put just a tiny, tiny little pinch in there. That's good. And that just adds um, really important trace minerals into your baby food. And we're going to bring it all up. There it is all mixed up. We actually realized we put just a bit too much molasses for this size batch, so what we're gonna do is just blend up the rest and just mix this in, um, and it should be enough molasses for the whole batch of the sweet potato. But it tastes really good. We would eat this stuff too. <laughs> and the nice thing about a food processor, like I said, is you don't have to add any extra water, actually. Um, we just put this straight in and the food processor can handle straight up sweet potatoes and just purees it right down. All right, and the very last thing that we add in for some more packed nutrition is whey. Now, you can put a little, little bit more in than that. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. We make kefir out of the raw milk that we drink and sometimes we stray the whey out of the kefir so that it has more of a yogurt-like consistency, and so we end up with this whey left over. And what this is fantastic for is a amazing source of probiotics. Um, this stuff is chock full of natural uh, probiotics that is left over from fermenting your kefir. So we add just a little bit of that, and it's it's got like several hundred strains of probiotics, so it's awesome. Starting kids off with a healthy gut with lots of good, healthy probiotics in there prevents a lot of digestive diseases, it prevents a lot of um, autoimmune diseases later in life. Um, they've done a lot of studies showing how there is a strong link between several autoimmune and digestive diseases um, just because our guts are lacking so many of the good bacteria and they are overrun by the bad bacteria so we need the good stuff in there to outcompete the bad stuff <laughs> so the whole point of putting it in baby food is to just kind of get get their little guts started off on a good foot all right here we've got it all pureed just for the sake of convenience during the week we are filling up old baby food jars these are just ones that we got at Fred Meyer got them specifically so that we could reuse them for this purpose and just keep a few of them in the fridge for the next week or two. All right, and now we're filling up the ice cube trays. And we love these little silicone ice cube trays because you can just take them out of the freezer and pop them out pretty easily. Um, and once they're done freezing, we actually just pop them all out into a Ziploc bag so they're easy to just grab one or two and melt them up in the toaster oven or the microwave. So there you have it. That is the recipe that we use for all of our baby food basically. Now you can do this with any kind of vegetable or fruit really. Um, we actually did it with applesauce one time. Um, but other vegetables that we commonly do this with are carrots and squash and we even do it with greens. Um, we still have some greens in our garden that we're going to. Uh, make a few cubes of, um, but you can do it with like kale. Kale is a really good one and it's a superfood too. And you truly can do this with like just about any vegetable that you think of. Um, you just steam it, puree it, and add all of those extra nutritious superfoods and there you have it. Easy. It's a bit of a project to make it all, but then it lasts for a long time. And so, you know, it's a little bit of work up front, but then it's just as convenient and as jarred baby food and ready to go. So I also just wanted to throw in there that you can make green smoothies and put them into baby food jars just for convenience and ease later. Um, if you want to see our 
standard green smoothie recipe. I will have that linked at the end and down below. Um, but we just put a ton of superfoods into a green smoothie, including like kale and whatnot, and that's how we get all that goodness and fresh, fresh stuff into baby as well. We also do some baby led weaning and let her, you know, chew on pieces of fruits and vegetables and whatnot, but this is a much more effective way to get it into her because <laughs> when she's doing baby led weeding she doesn't always get it all into her it's mostly in her bib anyway this is just a way to make it nice and convenient and um, when you're on the go you can just grab one of these or you know especially since we have a toddler now and a baby I don't often have time to you know melt up one of the cubes that we made so this is just really easy keep it in the fridge just wanted to throw that out there as well we got our smoothie in a jar here and this is what Sophie is getting for breakfast. Lots of superfood goodness is going into you. It's the next day, and I pulled out one of our little jars of sweet potato, and it was a little bit solid after sitting in the fridge, so I, I just added a little bit of water to give it just the right consistency for her. What do you think? What do you think? Is that good? Ah, uh, um, what do you think? I think it's a yummy. I hope it's This stuff's good for you. It's good for you. Yeah, yummy, yummy, sweet potato. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we also do have a Facebook page so you can head on over there and check us out there as well. So if you guys have any good baby food recipes, let me know. You can leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to learn some other recipes as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye watching or not but I just want to say thank you you guys are truly awesome human beings and I just appreciate that you took the time to say thank you on your video and you know Benji for taking 45 minutes to talk to such a tiny little youtuber